Hello and welcome back to Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. Here we are on our farm. The poo is never ending, of course, uh, as, as we thought. Uh, the chest of loot is always empty. It's a tragedy, really, isn't it? Anyway, in this episode, I think I'm going to try and kind of maybe tick off some local side quests. Uh, this region is 75% happy, so I mean, I'm also tempted to, to try and deal with some of the murk around here. What's this area? Hearthwind Vale, right. Yeah, let's, um, well, first, let's, let's get this little bit of murk here. And let's also, let's start finishing off side quests. There's one that needs handing in not very far away, so let's just, let's just deal with that, yeah? So yeah, there is a patch of murk somewhere around here. But how to get to it? Um, I think it's inside, isn't it? Let's kind of have a peek. Well, I should be picking up these stones while I'm, uh, while I'm passing by them and smashing this barrel. We have got a lot of miscellaneous stuff in our inventory. I need to remember to plant trees whenever the opportunity arises. And I also need to buy more tree seeds whenever the opportunity arises. Okay, so the Merc, I think, is just in here. So let's clear our way in and deal with it. Six sprites. Yeah, I think I recall us trying to clear this Merc once before, earlier on in the game. Let's, uh, let's keep going down. And a few chests down here. A bit of gold ore. And some looped ponytails. We haven't had a change of hairstyle for a while. Let's let's see what the what the options are. Looped ponytails. Hmm. Bowl haircut. Let's go with the looped ponytails. And I don't know, maybe there's some fun new shampoo. What was the ombre? Add a gradient of colour to hair. That's what we look like now. Fantastic. Uh, all right, we're done in this cave. Let's get back up. Is there something on the top of this mountain? I'm seeing a little sort of circular icon. A dot. Maybe it's below us. Maybe that's what this thing's trying to tell us. I wonder if this is a jumpy puzzle. You know what? I'm going to see if I can make the way to the top of this mountain because it all looks too convenient, doesn't it? Uh, there is a chest up here, containing a top knot. I'm not too disappointed with that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, well, I've made it up to the very top, and not really much of note. Okay, well, it was satisfying at least. So I need to deliver a thing to Benedict. He's in this little house up here. And I'm also thinking that there's another thing I can do while this in, while I'm in this area. So I, I was curious, and off camera I, I looked up how to make a clay pot, and it looks like we need to go back to Frostfire Potters. Uh, is this not the way up this hill? This might not be the way up this hill. Uh, head back to Frostfire Potters uh, to get that made. So I'm thinking that's what that's what we'll do. I've got enough clay in my inventory. Let's just hand this in. Oh, great job. That's a fine pelt indeed. I hope you didn't just trade for one, though. I wouldn't blame you for a second if you did trade for it. Either way, I have a feeling you'll do well in Jimmy. I almost forgot. Here's something a little special for your efforts. Enjoy this leather haversack. Ooh, what does that do? Is that an equipable? So I've already got a canvas rucksack, but I can put on a leather haversack instead. Yeah, okay. Makes a nice change. Right, so there was a... Oh, I need to remember to get, get vines. Uh, so yeah, there's, I think, a, a teleporty thing up on this hill to the left here. And that's that's a good way to get back to Frostfire Potters very quickly. So let's use that. Okay, so I think that Frostfire Potters was just down here to the left. Indeed it is. Oh, are we going to land? Oof, that was close. Nearly fell off the edge there. That would have been embarrassing. Uh, so we have a merchant here. Uh, the merchant is selling some vines. We need to buy all the vines we can. Oh, and I can just buy a clay pot as is. You know what? Let's buy all four of these. 
and that will keep me going for a little while. Uh, so we need to sell something now. We need 130 units worth of stuff. It's probably going to be potatoes, because potatoes we have lots of. Unless there's anything here that's worth a bonus. No. Okay, so uh, potatoes at 50, so two spuds will get us up to 100. And then we need to sell 300s worth of something. Uh, what have we got? Uh, sorry, not 300, 30 worth. Uh, let's sell one lace fish. That seems like a, an acceptable trade. Okay. So now I don't need to talk to this guy to get clay converted into clay pots, but I do want to get back up to that warp location. So I think we have to go the wrong, the long way around. Um, what does the map show actually? Well, this is interesting. This actually kind of gets us back, kind of in the vicinity up here. I wonder if this is actually going to be a slightly quicker way to get back to Numino Peak when that that requirement does arise. Uh, let's also set a more suitable quest because dipfish I don't think we're planning on doing. Um, so the Dapplewood Forest Bridge, I think that's actually not too far away, is it? Yeah, we might be able to get to that. In fact, let's let's try heading in that direction right now. See what we run into. We might find that there's a, a wall that blocks us from going through. But let's have a crack. Hello, Bambexen. Grab a bit more vine from here. A bit of murk to the left there. Let's try clearing that. Let's purify the Merc, 13 sprites, we've got exactly the right number. Nice. Okay, and let's see what kind of loots there are to be had here. Da -da 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 -da. And I forgot when I was talking to that last trader to look for tree seeds. Tree seeds is something I really do need to start paying attention to. A headscarf. Okay. A river. Can I cross this? Maybe there's a bit where it narrows up here, or some stepping stones or something. Might be able to get across there if I'm quick. This looks promising. Yeah, there we go. We made it. Now it is getting quite late, and ghost fish is something that I do kind of want to remember about. Let's let's do a bit of fishing. This seems like a nice spot. We might catch a ghost fish here. And let's, let's get our rod out. So the ghost fish are found around midnight. Um, I don't know much about them. I do see a fish up there. Come on little fishy. Yeah, I'm a little fishy. See the fish. There we go. I mean even if this is just a dip fish that's fine. I have a quest for those. It is indeed a dip fish. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to say no to a little inventory worth of fish while I wait for the ghost fish. This is probably just another dip fish. Yep, yeah, we're gathering quite a few of them. Something fishy there. I mean, it might even be that ghost fish are invisible which will mean trying to get my bobber in front of them is a, a waste of time. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. Well, did I see a little ghostly... I felt like I saw a little ghostly disturbance in the water over there. Maybe I imagined it. But, you know, that does square with the, uh, the requirement to find a ghost fish, doesn't it? Another lace fish. It's coming up to midnight now. If we're going to find a ghost fish any time, it's going to be now. What are you, little fishy? Another dip. Okay, midnight, come on. This might be our last chance to get a ghost fish tonight. What's that? It's slightly larger than a dip fish, I think. Could this be the fish we seek? <gasps> it is! Hooray! We've got a ghost fish. That's brilliant. We needed that for a quest. Uh, so that is the beard off one here. I need to craft a ghost fish stew. 
I wonder if that's something we can already do. It's probably going to be in the chef's thing. Uh, okay, none of these are ghost fish stew. Maybe it's a wayfarer one. Ghost fish stew. I need just some water. Okay, so we can craft up some water using some of our vines. There's the ghost fish stew. Okay, so this quest is ready to hand in, but we are a very long way away, if my memory serves correctly. Let's just consult the map. Yeah, all the way up there. Okay, so for now, let's let's go back to... What have we got? So, a knack for knacklefish. I think that's one that we're ready to hand in. We deliver to Theodore. He's all the way over here. Um, which is up... Where is that? Oh, near, the, near that spring moor. Oh, that's near Gold Lake. Okay. What else? Um, Dapplewood Forest Bridge. That's what we were heading towards, wasn't it? This is the dip fish quest. We now have enough dip fish to hand in, and Bob is quite close, and also quite close to that, and that. Okay, so these three, we might be able to do all three of these, but we're going to need some more vines for Dapplewood Farm. So let's set that one as our nearby quest. So we need three more vines, so I need to gather them, hopefully without having to go too far. I'm going to scythe up this stuff in case I get some more tree seeds. That's good. Okay, so we need to find some of those little vine clusters. Uh, there's one over there. That's good. Gonna need two more. Are there any vine clusters out in this terrain? Uh, there are a few chunks of murk down there. And I think I see a vine cluster. Let's allow ourselves to get a little bit distracted. Let's uh, open up this murk if we can. Only four sprites, very nice. And that seems to give us a shortcut through to somewhere, who knows where. Oh, is that Mocker Bay down there? Have I f found my way down? Yeah, I think it must be. Okay. Right, well, we do have enough finds now, so let's make our way back up to that Dapplewood farm destination. Uh, there is another bit of murk around here. We'll clear that while we're in the area. And we're going to still need more vines because we need to make some twine for one of the other quests. Okay. I feel like I see something down there, but... Mm, no, I don't think I can run through here safely. Okay, daytime is coming. I hear some birds calling. And let's hope I can get up the hill here. Is this a jumpable? Looks like it. No, no, maybe not. No, let's... let's... Um, oh, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. No, I'm going back down. Uh, some of these walls. There we go. Oh, 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 no, I'm back down I go. Right. <laughs> let's just give up on this. Let's take the easy route. I was making that way more complicated than it needed to be. Okay, and here's a tree spot. Uh, what sort of tree seeds do I have? Some mysterious tree seed. Okay, and here is where we can build Dapplewood Farm. Let's do it. That was quick. Only a 25% farm rating. I feel like... Do we need to kind of do something about this? I feel like we should get some stuff on the go. And actually, this maybe gives me an opportunity. Well, that's a nice little caravan. Uh, this gives me an opportunity to, to clean up one of the other annoying quests. So these ones that are like um, Constructor Guildmaster, for example, right? Craft some Constructor items. I want to see if I can craft uh, some planty trough things. So where's that going to be? So if I go into... Let's find Constructor there. Like the... Uh, is there some kind of... Mm, no, okay. Carpenter or trough animal pen... Can I craft the things for growing plants in? 
Or can I only craft animal pens? I thought that I was able to, to craft the, the plant sections, but maybe those need to just be bought. Well, shall I try crafting a large animal pen? So I'll need to make a constructor's kit, which I have the stuff to do. I'm going to need to make a keystone, a stone arch, stone pillar. So these require lots and lots of cobblestone. And each of which takes a constructor's kit and some stone. My goodness, things kind of multiply up, don't they? Let's make a, a small handful of these and some cobblestone. And then can I make a keystone yet? I need some mortar. Is mortar an option in here? Uh, mortar is there, clay and fodder. Okay, and then I just need some normal stone and I've run out of stone. So I can't even make the keystone. I'm going to need a lot of stone if I want to build all of this stuff. Hmm. And I don't think... Uh, where's the farm book? Do I have anything I can plant in here? Place in here, rather. Uh, water trough dirt. No, okay, that's, that's no good to me at all. Okay, so this is quite a useless farm until I get myself some kind of planty thing. Oh well, glad I wasted my time. But I do now need to keep a look out for lots and lots of stone, that is now a thing on my agenda. Okay, so I think there's something buildable through here. Is it the Dapplewood Forest Bridge? Uh, that's up here, okay. Let's try climbing up. Oh, sometimes when you jump, it just goes in the wrong direction. I wonder if I still have the stuff I need for this. No, I need another twine, but I think I might be able to craft that. Uh, twine, twine, twine is... Oh, no, it came out where I needed to be. In here. Twine. Oh, you can make twine out of fodder. Aye, the vine is the, not the only way to make that. That's good. All right, let's make this bridge. I wonder what's on the other side of the bridge. Couple of chests, okay. Three coins and three more coins. That's exciting. Is that it? Hmm, okay. Uh, let's set a new quest then. There's another one locally, which is, I think, is it the dip fish thing? Yeah, I think so. And there's some murk up top there which I will see if I can... I mean, this looks very steep. So maybe I need to approach that from the back. Okay, this is the guy who needs the dip fish. Let's, let's get him dealt with. Oh, he's turned into a sprite. Thanks, chum. I think I'm going to like travelling with you. It'll be a halibut good time. That is not a good pun. Not a good pun. Right. I tried looking for this merc before. I couldn't get round the back there. Maybe this is a jumpy puzzle. Maybe I need to jump onto the sage stone's head. It's looking quite inviting, isn't it? Okay, let's try and get up there. Oh. Yeah. This might take some time. Um, I'm having my doubts that getting on the sage stone's head is indeed the right way to get up here. Let's try some alternate strategies. Well, this is just misery inducing. I give up. Right, what's this quest nearby here? Wet, uh, wet weather gear, yeah. Um, let's let's see what's what's next. A knack for knacklefish. I can certainly get that cleared off. Let's do that. So that person is in Gold Lake. Uh, it might be slightly quicker to warp to that sage stone there. Let's do that. The Sunderwind Wild sage stone. That's impressive, I actually managed to find the right one the first time. Did not expect that. Okay, there's some traders down here. Um, let's see what they've got. I need lots and lots of stone. And possibly some vines as well. Uh, 
nothing interesting there, but they do sell planks very cheap. Some planks might be useful for some carpentry. So I'm just going to buy all of these planks. Uh, and what can I sell? Oh, they really, really like fodder. I've got quite a lot of moon silk flowers. Let's give them a handful of those. So two each, I need about 30. I need three more of something to sell. So let's, yeah, let's just give them two more moon silk flowers and be done with it. And I wonder if I can actually... Yeah, because I, I do also have one of these annoying side quests to get the Carpenter Guildmaster. I need to craft 1,000 coins worth of Carpenter items. So maybe I should just get ahead of this and do some now. So this is Carpenter. Uh, so I've got sticks and wood. I could craft some Carpenter's kits, which will get us on the way. I feel like... A large animal pen might be useful for the uh, the new farm. So I need some wood beams and some wood tiles. I'll need some glue. I'll need some water. So can I make some water? I can make one bit of water. That's a bit disappointing. So that's one wood beam. I need more. So maybe... Maybe... Uh, mm, Yeah, let's, let's just keep that in mind. But in the meantime, let's go and do the quest for Knacklefish. And let's keep an eye out for big rocks that we can break down. Okay, we are approaching Gold Lake, or whatever it's called. Let's plant a tree seed in here. One of them, why not? Oh, there's another tree plot here. Should plant whatever we've got. And let's give this knackle fish to Theodore. Mm. Oh, you beautiful fish. Reminds me of my younger days on the open sea. Here are some new clothes for you. It looks like a tied dimidji and long sleeve wrap will fit you well. Yeah, let's give them a try. That thing. Yeah, and a long sleeved wrap. Yeah, that's a nice new look. Let's change our hairstyle as well. Let's, let's go for a top knot. Or we can wear a headscarf. No, no, I don't fancy that. Ooh, maybe we should hire a farmhand. Ah. Here's a tip. There's lots of interest in anything plant-based in Fairmont. Let's, yeah, let's, let's see. Um lots of stuff to offer. Let's see what Genevieve makes of the french fries. Uh -huh. 81%. That's pretty good going. Okay, what about a potato? Huh? 91. Another potato? Oh. She loves potatoes. Let's let's send her to the Southfield oh. farm. And maybe she'll pick up the poo and maybe we'll start getting some more groffle milk. Mm. Okay, merchant. What you got? Uh, nothing particularly good here. Okay, well, we've crossed off another side quest. Um, it's still a long list, but it's getting better, isn't it? Where to now? I'm not going to head back up to the Shivering Plains for the Great Beard off yet. Uh, it's mostly just these Guildmaster things, isn't it? So maybe I should be looking into trying to... trying to get some more stuff to craft carpenter items. So if I wanted to build, say, a new large animal pen for my new farm. I'm going to need to make lots of glue, so I'm going to need to get lots of water. So for that, I'm either going to need lots of vines, or I'm going to need to buy them from merchants. But once I've got this glue, I've got lots of wood. So I should be able to then go ahead and do this. So it's... it's it might need some seam flowers. I think it's, it's about the traders, isn't it? Seam flowers, water, glue. Okay, let's try Fairmont, because that's not very far away. And grab a bit more clay while we're in the area. Oh, there's weather happening. Yeah, I definitely want to get into the shelter of a town. You see another vine plant. As always, we want to keep those vines coming. 
Oof, I don't think I've ever known the weather to be this bad. I feel like I'm, um, I'm gradually getting my head around what kind of things I need, you know? Okay, what's this? Oh, this merchant can sell me a new garden plot. It might be worth doing that. Just for the sake of... Well, no, I need to craft a new plot to get that annoying side quest out of the way, so... I will buy the tree seeds. I need to sell 20 back. Uh, these blueberry seeds are worth plus 300%. So are these flowers. Ooh, okay, so let's just sell five of them. And jobs are good. Uh, accept. Okay, what about this other trader? Okay, they're selling animal pens. Stuff. Celium flowers, very expensive. Okay, I think we're good for now for that. Um, oh, I do see something up there. And I also see a big rock. We definitely need to gather up some more stone. I'm going to try and get round onto this little escarpment up above me. And uh, deal with whatever's up there. Is that a breakable rock? No, it's not. We are reaching a suitable length of this video, so... Let's, let's call the episode here in this delightful weather. And I hope you'll join me next time for more Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles.